Imagine a streaming setup where background noise is eliminated, scenes are changing automatically, and mood lighting is setting the perfect ambience. In today's video, we're diving into Crisp AI for noise cancellation, Stream Deck XL for scene management, and foot pedals for on-the-fly recording control. And I'll show how I adapt my backgrounds using mood lighting. This video was recorded a couple of months ago for my video editor and it was not designed for YouTube, but I think the information is still relevant. I'm using Crisp and what that's doing is isolating my voice from all backgrounds. If you hear me clapping, that would be a problem, but the Crisp system will wipe that out of the recording. I'm clapping here and you're not meant to hear the clap because the AI is meant to isolate it. The problem was I hadn't had Crisp AI going through my audio channel. I'll just show you what happens when I clap. You shouldn't be able to hear the clapping, just my talking. I'm using foot pedals as one of the stream decks that I have. It has three buttons, a context switch that I've set up here to go to different usages of the foot pedals. This is showing that if I press the left foot pedal it would be recording my screen. If I want to pause or resume I'd use the right foot pedal. But what I'll do is I'll press the middle foot pedal and change to a different context. Now we're on scanning of my profiles. You can see this is called the front scene and one of the things I've got going on in the background are four lights. One's out of focus. What I've got it set on at the moment is the short front light. That's the one just there. I'll change it to red. What it does is it changes the whole background dynamics because of that. We'll change it to green, we'll change it to purple, yellow, and pink. Normally I'm probably working a green. And so we get this kind of gradient effect going through there. Now I'll press the next scene button, that's the right foot pedal, and that'll take us to what I'm calling the GPT view. Whenever I want to talk about chat GPT, this is what it'll look like. One of the things I have to do is all the black area of the screen needs to be dealt with a theme of some sort, a channel branding, stuff like that. If I go to the next scene and we've got the web view. So this would be a landscape version of a Chrome window. Next scene, this is where I would show ChatGPT plus a web view. Next scene, a Visual Studio view with ChatGPT sitting out on the right. I can do things like cropping in of the webcam if I wanted to focus on a terminal window but still have ChatGPT in the background and just a terminal window. Visual Studio window with maybe a little bit of terminal in the background and a Visual Studio window. That's all of them. I can go back as well, though scene profiles won't actually be done by my feet in the future. This will only be for the record and pause. I'll just take it through to those ones. It'll be this one here. I'll use the main stream deck, which has 30 odd buttons to control which scenes that I want to do. This little behind the scenes was done for my team member, but if you're interested in videos generally around ChatGPT for programming or prompt engineering, then check out one of the videos here in the corner.